If there was one star that represented that metaphorical baton passing, it was this man, Mark Boland, who in the summer of 77 had his own tea time pop show for kids filmed by Granada TV in Manchester. We were well past the golden era of glam rock and Boland proved an unconventional children's TV presenter. This is a song written by Gloria Jones, sung by Group Group Gonzalez. Actually danced for my best dance group, Heartthrob. But hey, it was the 70s. TV was a different world back then. In between the dancing, Boland's show had a key role to play in the rock revolution, introducing us to a host of exciting new acts. Could be a lot of new sounds, a lot of new experiences. The biggest and the best so far this week are an amazing group called Jam! This is music history. The Jam playing live on television for the very first time. Amazing to think that Weller formed the jam when he was 14 and he's still a mere 19 year. 1977 would be the jam's breakthrough year, with two classic albums and three politically charged singles. Although Mark was pre-recorded, acts were only allowed one take, so any mistakes stayed in the show. And if you watch closely here, you'll see drummer Rick Buckler loses a stick. Good job it was near the end of the song, eh? The Jam were just the first of many new rock acts that Mark introduced to us in 77. We have a lead singer called Billy Idol, who's supposed to be as pretty as me. Let's we'll see now. Generation X. This was a very early TV appearance from Billy Idol, long before his solo career took off. The tale goes that young Billy and his mates made off with the studio drum kit after the show, earning themselves a 10-year ban from Granada TV. Disgraceful behaviour. Mark also welcomed another bad boy of punk, Bob Geldof, into the studios to strut a few moves like Jagger, eight years before Live Aid. When the series reached its final episode, Mark Boland pulled off an incredible coup. His old mate David Bowie was in the midst of recording what would become known as his Berlin Trilogy. Having moved to the German city in 76 in search of physical and spiritual rejuvenation, Bowie went on to create, in my opinion, some of the greatest music ever written. So when he showed up at Granada Studios to perform on Mark, it was something truly unmissable. Not least because it was the very first TV performance of this song. Sit back and enjoy, this is a real treat. 
wish you could swim Like dolphins Like dolphins can swim Nothing Will keep us together We can beat them Heroes just for one day. The inspiration for Heroes came to Bowie when he watched two lovers embracing by the Berlin Wall. It was later revealed that the couple were Bowie's producer Tony Visconti and backing singer Antonio Mars, who were having a secret affair. song at a concert in West Berlin in 1987, crowds also gathered on the east side of the wall to hear the performance. It became an anthem for those who wanted to unify a divided Germany. Just for one day. Thank you for goodbye and all the boys in the band, David, everybody, all the cats, you know they are. This is a new song. One, two, three, go! Bowie and Bolan had been friends since 1964 when they were just playing David Jones and Mark Feld, a couple of lads trying to make a name for themselves on the London gig circuit. Thirteen years later, these two geniuses decided to put together a song on the spot to end the series. Boland, by all accounts, had been enjoying a bit of wine during the recording, which might explain what happens next, much to his mate's amusement. This is going to take a while, thinks David. This final show is all the more poignant because we're witnessing Mark Boland's last TV appearance. Between recording and transmission, he was tragically killed in a car crash. He was just 29. A week later, David Bowie released Heroes, the song he debuted on his friend's show. The story of pop had lost one of its great characters. It would be up to a new generation of stars to write the next chapter. And after the break, we'll see how that next generation burst onto our screens in 1977. We've got clips from the vault unseen in more than 40 years. They're worth the wait. Just remember, keep a little mark in your heart and watch the same mark time, same mark channel. <laughs> 